Hello vlog peeps, I'm outside, beautiful dorm place, and I'm talking about my writing class, and I'm going over the two major points in my first two projects. Now let's see, my first project I had to take two genres, and write about one thing in two different genres, and I chose my one thing was, what did I do? Oh, all right. The speeches. Speeches on, I guess, during World War II. And my two different genres were, let's see, blanking memory. Oh, all right. One was a speech by Winston Churchill, the leader of um, the, not the leader, because there was a king and the prime minister. There you go. Prime minister. He was the prime minister of England during World War II. And the other one was FDR, Franklin D. Roosevelt, President of the United States. And Winston Churchill, basically, um, his speech was kind of like trying to get the people together and keep hope because their country was bombed by the Germans. So that speech was like more of a kind of like hold on, kind of let's pull through this kind of thing. We can do it while um, Franklin D. Roosevelt's speech was more like it was after um, it was his address to Pearl Harbor and he was talking about how they were going to go to war with the Japanese and how they were going to win fast, win strong and do it quick because that's what Americans do and his speech was more kind of like they were certain of themselves they knew they were going to do it they knew they were going to win they just they're very confident, while the Winston Churchill speech was very iffy, and Churchill was trying to give hope. And yeah, that's how I did my first project, and I kind of like that because, well, I like famous speeches, especially ones that hit to the heart. And let's see, my second project. Ooh. I analyzed my history, California history class, really interesting class. I interviewed the professor, and I basically, uh, I talked about, like, the important things to, the important ways to write in that class, and how to write in that class, how to get a good grade, and that was pretty interesting because I got to, well, history is my major, so I find it pretty interesting, and that was interesting to me because I got to write about how I myself should write, and I guess I'm helping other people too. And it helped me in writing because I guess I learned specifically how to write in history more, better. It helped me for my midterm a lot in California history, and it will help me in the future. And what was I, what else was I supposed to do in that project? Let me see, let me see. I think that was about it. I explained, like, there's, oh, I explained certain co conventions, like analyzing, um, providing sources, and using I statements, like I was taught in my writing class. And, yeah, it's about how my two first projects went and their, how, why they were important. Well, did I, no, I don't think I really, the first one was important because kind of, you get two different things and see how they're similar and just see how genres work together and the second one was important because it teaches you how to write in a certain context and it taught me how to look out like pull my, myself away from the class and look inside it and see how I was being taught and how to look at certain things and grasp what it's trying to tell me that's why those two products were important all right, I'll probably then do my other vlog about three different writings I did in my writing project, and I'll probably put these two videos together. See you later. What's up, vlog people? I'm doing my vlog for my writing class, and I just got the habit. It's a pretty good milkshake. Anyways, I'm going to talk about my writing class and what I learned in it, because it was pretty fun. Anyways, let's see. 
The three most important things I learned in my writing class through my articles, through the readings actually, is let's see. The article that had to do with the I statements, the annoying way people use quotations, and what was the third one? The the one where the guy had to write in pictures or something. Well, I'm gonna sit down right here. Finish this up. Well, let's see. What else? My writing class? I really like this writing class because before, like writing one didn't really teach me how to write better. I was just kind of like learning basic stuff. And I don't think my writing was very good before because I just had an English in my high school years, my last two years, I had the same teacher and he would basically just tell us to read all period and he didn't really teach us anything. So in my writing two class, our professor, she, she basically makes it easier for us to learn because she establishes an environment that caters to what we want to do. She gives us a lot of creative Um, creative power or when we write our papers and stuff sorry for the random interruption I'm probably gonna have to edit but but I had to go give someone some keys for their room anyways what are they saying oh how I like the class because it's actually taught me a lot about writing for example in the reading we did for the how to the picture comic one I kind of like what I took from it is like how you set up a comic is kind of how you want to like set up a story like there's ways that you lead up to to your writing you don't want to just like throw something at your at the reader and just surprise them you kind of want to build up and explain what you're doing and you kind of just don't want it, you want it to be organized so they can follow your thoughts. And that's what I took from that one. And what another one is the I statement. What I took from that is basically, you know, like everyone else, like their other professors and teachers have told them not to use I statements very much, which I still did anyways, but kind of figured out why they're good. So, like, say if you're, like, quoting a source for what I usually do, history, so that's what I write. Say you're quoting, like, someone else's idea or theory, you need to use the I statements after that so you can separate what they say and what you're saying about the analysis. So I thought that was pretty cool. And there's a lot of birds here. And let's see, for the third one, which is the one I like the most, because I mess up with this a lot, is how to use, is the annoying ways people use quotations. What I really like about that is it kind of like showed me examples of how to, um, it showed me examples of wrong ways people use quotations and it shows me how to fix it. And my favorite part about that was the, which part was it? I guess just randomly introducing your quote well not randomly introducing your quote but randomly putting in your quote in without introducing it and I like most about this little part of the article because I've been told that I do that a lot and I wouldn't know how to fix it even after it's explained to me I would just like leave it how it is or I would try to introduce it but I didn't really know how but after reading this article it kind of explained to me how to do it and what else have I learned? I kind of learned how to structure my papers a little bit better. And I kind of like this whole process where we're writing our papers first and then we're going to revise them all after. Because what I like about revising them after is we get to, um, we get to, we get more experience on all three projects and we get responses to all three projects before we start, um, 
revising them and getting the peer review, which is ultimately I think will make the two projects we decide on to use after better because um, we'll have more experience to revise. And I think that's all I'm going to talk about. I might do a second video on this when I revise the project. So look out for that, and I would probably do it on what I've learned from doing this project, the reflection on it, the other video I'm going to post up for instructional purposes. Alright, see you later. Bye.